Hello, students. Start today. We are learning about routine inspection and maintenance of the suspension system. Word preparation. Vehicle suspension is a collective term for the elastic linkage between the frame and the axle. Its role is to elastically connect the axle and the frame, ease the impact of the vehicle on the move, to ensure the integrity of the goods and the comfort of the personnel. Mainly consists of elastic elements. Damping elements, guiding elements, and lateral stabilizers. Here we will learn how to check and maintain the suspension system. Training equipment: Gili Su Ling. Training tools: A set of common tools, helmets, minnen, barometer, torque wrenches, etc. One visual inspection of body tilt. Vehicle part on level ground. Confirm that the tire pressure is normal. And the absence of excess weight in the passenger and luggage compartments. Then vibrate the front and rear of the vehicle several times to stabilize the suspension system. Visually inspect the front and rear of the vehicle. Is there a high degree of abnormality? To check shock absorbers and springs, check the damping effect of the shock absorbers on the car. One in all four corners of the vehicle. Lift and depress each corner of the vehicle three times back and forth with your hand. To remove your hands from the vehicle, three identify shock absorbers or sliding parts that vibrate more than twice. Lifting vehicles. Remove front wheel. Visually inspect coil springs for damage. Lengths of coil springs on both sides of the same axis should be essentially the same. No cracks or breaks. No serious signs of rust. If so, the coaxial left and right coil springs should be replaced at the same time to keep the left and right sides of the vehicle at the same height. Visually inspect the lower end of the shock absorber for damage. The lower end of the shock absorber should be mounted securely. No cracks or signs of heavy rusting. Visually inspect the shock absorber for damage. Check the shock absorber piston rod. Rubber dust protection holes at the upper end should be intact and not cracked. The surface of the strut should be free of depression cracks and severe corrosion. Replace if available. Visually check shock absorbers for oil leaks. Shock absorber in the working process. High temperature oil evaporation of oil mist will be attached to the cylinder wall around the road soil. Will be attached to it, forming a layer of sludge. Oil only slide wheel stands on the outer surface of the shock absorber are normal and do not need to be replaced. If there is not only sludge but also grease or oil droplets on the cylinder, then it can be considered that the shock absorber oil is leaking and the shock absorber assembly should be replaced. Three check the clearance of each ball joint at the suspension connecting rod. Check each ball junction for excessive clearance and rubber boot damage. Ball joints should have no gaps in both the longitudinal and transverse directions. If there is a gap, ball nuts should be replaced. For visual inspection of the lateral stabilizer bar. Visually inspect the lateral stabilizer bar for bending deformation. If there are deformations or cracks, can only be replaced with new parts. Not allowed on front suspension braces and guide components, welding and straightening appears. 
Inspect the rubber mounts and rubber bushings of the lateral stabilizer bar. If the bushing is damaged, it should be replaced. 5. Check the vehicle's rear torsion beam suspension. Check that the torsion beam is not bent or deformed. If there is bending deformation, can only be replaced with new parts. 6. Visual inspection of upper and lower control arms and rods. Visually inspect the upper and lower control closure rods for deformation. Damage if deformation or cracks exist, can only be replaced with new parts. Check each rubber bushing for damage and deterioration. Replace if damaged, installation of tires. Lower the vehicle. At this point, the routine inspection and maintenance operation of the suspension system is complete. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it will help you in your daily work.